the innocuous prunes or dried plums. So let us take a step to the side here. Let's say we're a researcher in pharmaceutical. And this particular pharmaceutical is shown to basically mitigate bone density loss in both men and women. In fact, in some of the studies are referenced to both men and women, there are increases in bone density, bone strength, and in bone geometry. But those aren't the studies we're gonna to cover today. We're gonna to cover the most recent ones. And there's two studies. One was conducted in females and one was conducted in males. Different dosages of prunes. In females, there were 50 grams of prunes, about six per day. In males, in the randomized clinical study, they consumed about 12 uh, prunes per day over the course of a year. But the results were just astounding, miraculous. That's why I was saying if this was a pharmaceutical company which found a way to market dried plums as medications, don't give the FDA any ideas, this would cause people to be throwing the money at the table to invest in this new wonder drug. But it's not a drug. It's prunes. Innocuous, humble, and yet not so popular food that doesn't often cross people's palates. But let us begin as follows. First one, we're gonna cover this one first. The prunes prevent bone loss at hip and protect against fracture risk. The second one, I wanna show you real fast before we delve into it. Prunes have a promising effect on men's bone health adding to a growing body of research. First, the one conducted in females. And we're just gonna to go to the good parts and the research of the study itself, or I should say good parts of the study. And we'll have, of course, the uh, DOI, or I should say links to the abstract. Full study is not published, but still just the same. Very insightful, very impactful. First, prunes prevent bone loss at hip and protect against fracture risk. Findings from major study underscore prunes as food-based therapeutic option for bone health. Previous clinical trials and postmenopausal women have shown the promising effect that daily prune consumption can have on preventing bone loss. This new study represents a milestone in prune research as it is the largest clinical trial to date with a sample size of 235 postmenopausal women. The results showed that women who consumed 50 grams of prunes per day, about five or six, for one year maintained hip bone middle density, while those who ate no prunes control group lost significant bone mass at the hip. Furthermore, almost, you know, there's bone density and there's fracture risk. They tend to correlate, but still just the same. You want to see reduction in fracture risk as well. Obviously, what else is the sense of just increasing bone density to have more brittle bones? Furthermore, hip fracture risk went up in a control group compared to the prune eaters who are protected from any increases in fracture risk. Now, we go to the next study, which was, I believe, in November of last year. So I like the fact is they have two studies, both in men and women, so we can get a good idea of how impactful this humble plum can be. To proceed, in this randomized control clinical study, well, first the title, based new study, prunes have promising effect on men's bone health adding to a growing body of research. In this randomized controlled clinical study, 57 healthy men aged 50 to 79 years of age were assigned to either consume 100 grams, close to 12 grams of prunes every day or no prunes for 12 months. At the conclusion of one year, the prune consumers showed significant decreases in biomarkers of bone breakdown, while no changes were observed in the control group. The studies, all study authors also reported that men who ate prunes showed improvements in bone geometry, indicating greater bone strength. Now this one I want to allude a little bit to, or should say take a little side trip to the abstract, um, because that one line does stand out to perceive. Dried plum groups from baseline to six to 12 months in the proximal tibia endosteel circumferences increased significantly within the dry plum group during the course of treatment. I thought that was important to 
elaborate upon for your information and your purview. So basically what we're looking at is simply, I know it doesn't sound spectacular or glamorous or like a massive new chemical breakthrough, but to think, now it doesn't mean that this, you know, obviously studies have to be repeated and the redundancy it pays off, but this was a human study, which really pays off far greater than that or have more weight than that just of an animal study. But to think just through something as simple as the consumption of prunes. Now think about all the other variables which do not account the exercise, mobility, so on and so forth. But just the consumption of prunes, prunes, I should say, dried plums, that you can have such an immediate impact to actually mitigate the effects of potential bone density deterioration or reduction in bone loss. In this case, halting bone loss after one year and improving or mitigating fracture risk, as well as, at least in the group of men, that was consuming twice as many prunes as the female group was, increases in bone geometry, indicating a potential correlation increase in bone strength just by doing nothing more, not taking a drug, not doing this, not doing that, so to say, just consumption of a simple, readily available food, that is just freaking incredible. Again, two studies we have, gratitude to the research as always. It doesn't sound exactly glamorous or exciting, so to say, but the effect, the outcome is what we wanna look at here. Consumption of prunes, to have this type of outcome is just phenomenal. The female group, five to six prunes per day. The male group, 12 uh, prunes per day. If the females consume 12 grams of prunes per day, would have the same effect in the male group? Don't know, that's for future studies. But again, gratitude to the researchers. And as always, I end it like this all the time because I truly am humbled that you watch and I hope you find this information in use. And let's bring an end to at least one uh, dire health concern just through the consumption of daily dried fruit, the plum. I'll catch y'all next time. See you then, bye.